Good morning and welcome back to another video. We're back to normal after Devon Truck Show and today it is Friday. I have brought this load down from Liverpool for Clumpton and I'm about an hour away and then I've got two other loads today. So we'll see how it goes. First thing I do in the morning after getting my cup of tea started is doing my daily checks, as always. Everything looks fine, which I'm really pleased about because the last thing you want on the Friday is problems. I then just have to fill out my daily checks book so that I have a record of my walk around check and then I can go. And what a beautiful Friday morning it is. Let's hope my day goes well too. As I pull round into the mill, there is somebody sampling already. There are two pits here, so I'm hoping that we are going to be on different pits. I get all my paperwork together to go in and see the Weybridge operator and to find out whether it's good news or bad news. I'm also hoping that that's the only other lorry that's here that's waiting to tip. Luckily, I find out that it's good news and we both have products that need to be tipped on separate pits. He gets me sampled really quickly and then it's on to the Weybridge. I put my sheet back on so that the load is covered and then I go back and see him to make sure that he has taken the weight before I pull away. The weight's recorded and the pit is set up for me so now all I need to do is reverse back onto the pit. This is a pit with a step so I've rolled the grain sock up already like I've shown you in other videos. And then all I need to do is tip the body up. I get my grain hatch handle and all I need to do now is open the grain hatch and let the soya flow out. Well that's what I think is going to happen anyway. But unfortunately nothing comes out which is quite common when the soya has been left on overnight. I lift the body up just a little bit more to try and coax it out. Luckily it starts to work which I'm really pleased about because I really didn't want to have to lower the body right down and dig out the first little bit. That's me tipping and I've made myself a cup of tea. I am going to have to watch the load going off because it is a bit sticky. That sometimes happens when it's on overnight. And it's lucky I did because the last three tons did not want to come out. Luckily, there was an owner driver waiting for the pit behind me that I know called Alistair and he helped me tip the last three tons slowly off with the tailboard open. This is the same thing that I did with Rachel a few weeks ago when she got her pole stuck. But that time I was at the back watching the load come out and she was tipping it up and down. Poor Alistair got really dusty like I did when I was stood at the back with Rachel. But I'm so grateful for his help. It really makes it a lot easier when someone is watching from the back. Then all I need to do is give it a really good sweep out. Because soya is a very dusty product, it sticks to everything. But it is one of those things that's really satisfying when it is clean. While I was sweeping out, Alistair even folded up my sock and put it away on my trailer. And now he's helping me clear up. As I pull away, you can see that he is getting on the pit after me. And for me, it's back on the Weybridge to weigh out. That wasn't too bad in the end and it's always better when there's help. Right, that's that. I've got my paperwork. Um, nobody will be in the office yet, so there's no point ringing. So I'm just going to go on and do my job for the morning. Ready to go. And we're off down the M5 to Bridgewater. I know it's early, but Bridgewater seems so quiet this morning. Because I'm from Bridgewater, I know that normally Bridgewater roads are pretty jam-packed, especially at rush hour. I head out the other side to Cannington, and I need to weigh in at Cannington Grain before I go to the farm. Right, I just need to get a weight in here, so I won't be long. And that's it, literally in seconds I am weighed in and I go down the road to the farm where I'm loading from. Once I get there, I back into the place where they've asked me to back into, which makes it best for loading. They are quite busy doing other things, but it's not long before I get loaded. Right, 
This weather makes all the difference in the mood to the job. It takes about 20 minutes to load and then I'm back to Cannington Grain to weigh out. Got my ticket and we're off to Huntworth with this, which is the other side of Bridgewater. On the left here is the Palace nightclub where I've had many a night I can't remember. And then I hit some traffic and it feels a bit more normal for Bridgewater. I was half worried for a second that some sort of zombie apocalypse was happening with the roads being so quiet on the way through. It only takes around half an hour to get across town and I'm into the mill. Unfortunately, it does look like there are a few other trucks in here. I wait my turn to pull onto the Waybridge and then I can go and find out if it's good news or bad news for how long I will be here. Went to weigh in and before I handed my paperwork in, they went, no, we ain't got room for it. Just joking, but when I handed my paperwork over, they were like, oh, actually, we might be struggling to get this in. Um, but then they said, yeah, we can get it in, um, but I do have a little bit of a wait. There's one on the pit now, and then there's one next to me who will tip next, and then it will be me. At least I beat Rob Wookie in, and it's looking like he's probably in for quite a long wait. Once it's my turn for the pit, I pull forwards and back onto the pit. I put my sock on and because this is PK, I roll it up a bit because it is a product that tends to be a little bit sticky. I also take a sample and take it round to the office. Once they approve of my sample and get the pit running, I can tip up and let the product go. It actually looks like it's coming out really well, which I'm glad after the Sawyer this morning. Dean's driver here, and he wants to give a shout out to his son who watches my videos. Hello Oliver, how you doing mate? No worries. I rang the office just to confirm the last load of the day because you never know what's going to happen, especially on a Friday. We might be out. Really? All I need to do now is take my sock off and fold it up neatly, kick the tailboard, give it a quick sweep out and we're done. It does look like there's quite a bit still in there at the sides of the trailer, but this pit is quite deep and should take this easily. Well, I think I'm going to have a fair bit of sweeping out to do. It's not long before I'm all swept out and I sweep round the pit to make sure it's nice and clean for the next driver. And it's back onto the Weybridge to weigh out. For the next load, it's up the M5 a little bit further, up to Portbury Docks. The traffic is quite slow on the way up there as it's a very busy weekend for holiday makers. As it's Friday, I'd rather not hit any traffic at all. But being down in the southwest, it's inevitable, especially on a Friday. Once I'm on the Weybridge, I can go and speak to the office on a telecom system. Luckily, I have all the right information and I can go round and load. The bay that I'm loaded in is a bit all around the houses, but we get there eventually. Even though these are big industrial units, there is something about driving through these sheds. I get closer down to the end of the shed and the loader is waiting to load me with the bucket in the air so I know which bay it's coming out of. They have very big buckets in here and they put a lot of product on at one time, so it doesn't take very long to get loaded. 
at least it's Friday and I get to wash my truck later because all this dust on the cab is not going to make it look very good. Once he's on his last bucket, I lift the body up in the air and I can see from the onboard weigher how much product I have on the trailer. I give him a little beep to tell him that I am up to full weight and then I can put my sheet on and go back to the weigh bridge. And although this is a different weigh bridge, it's the same procedure. I pull on and then go down to speak through the telecom system. I get printed out a ticket and I can take that to my destination. I have to give one copy of the ticket to the police on the way out. And then it's back down the M5 to Ufkham. The traffic looks quite bad, but there's not really an alternative route. And from experience, taking the longer route, just because it has less traffic, doesn't always make you win. If the motorway's moving, just slowly, sometimes it's better to stick with it than go off course. It's not long before I'm back in a country lane. And I end up back at the yard. I had a stroke of luck on the way back. The office rang and said that they couldn't take the load today. So I've brought it back to the yard, which is quite good really, because I have until 10 past six and it's now four o'clock. So if I had gone and tipped it and then tried to get back to the yard, I would have probably only just made it if no one was in front of me. I think actually I've been really, really lucky today waiting for Neil Conway to finish on the ugly pump and then I can fill out. So Neil has got ad blue and when I was ad blowing up he's got on the wash so I just get all my stuff ready and out of the cab I should have washed first and then gone and got ad blue but I wasn't to know it won't be long because he's back most nights anyway so and then hopefully i can get on i use this time wisely to pack all my stuff away and ready to take home for the weekend I also have a good clean up, which sometimes is better when you've already removed all your stuff from the truck that you want to take home. Neil finishes off and then we swap the truck saver on the wash. I couldn't put this on at real time as the yard is so dusty that when somebody has washed, we all need to drive extremely slowly through the yard so that we don't kick up dust and get dust on all the little water droplets and make the truck worse than it was before. I also put my hair up, which probably doesn't really matter as I've already got messy hair from a week away. Then I can get everything soaped up, which is quite satisfying. The front always seems to look good with soap running down it. Once I've soaped and wiped around all the bits I need to, I can wash off. That's better. Washes are always so much easier when it's been sunny all week. Right, let's go and park her up. Well, that's that, all parked up and I'm off for the weekend. I need to take my folder up and then I can go.